friend, welcome to Tammy Anderson Art. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. If you're back again, hello again. So I have a new paint set to play with and these colors, woo -hoo -hoo, let me tell you, I cannot wait to show you these. So let me get set up and we will get started. So these are your acrylic paints. They are just typical acrylic paints with nothing typical about them. First, let me just say, there are only a few things that really get me excited in this life. And other than the typical answer of, you know, kids and, and family and that, I love my cats and I love art supplies. So when I get new paints and they look like this, I get very excited. So if my uh, excitement is too overbearing for you, I apologize. But I just really, color makes me happy. That That's all I have to say. So these paints are made by the company Color Art and they are called Prism Pour. Now, that does not mean they're ready to pour. They are just acrylic paint that you mix with whatever mediums you're using to do your acrylic pouring. Color Art is the same company that makes the primary elements dry paint system, resin art colors. So this is their version of an acrylic paint. And the good thing about it is, you know, Color Art, primary elements, they're known for their sparkle. So they're able to take that sparkle and add it to an acrylic paint, which makes it just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to show you the 12 new colors uh, for the Prism Pour line. This set is called Pure Radiance, and you have some warm and cool tones. You're, if you order the set, you're going to get a free bottle of the color is called French Silk, and it is so stunning. I'm actually going to show you that one first. It is just downright sexy. It's like a um, cream, and look at the sparkle in there. Now, while you're looking at that, I'm looking at it under my flash, and I'm seeing twinkling blue and and violet and gold and it's just absolutely gorgeous so that is a free color you're going to receive if you chose to buy these using my discount code tammy anderson art 120 that's all in the, the uh, description so here are the colors i mean look at that and they can be mixed with whatever you mix your paints with, except for glue and water. If you're a glue and water person, I would not mix these with glue. Uh, it It's going to map them out. And if you use Floetrol, you can use Floetrol. I use Floetrol with these all the time. I just use a little bit less when it comes to these colors. This one here, now that first one I believe is Midnight Shadows. This one is Black Raspberry, I believe. I'm not used to the names yet, but you can just see they're gorgeous. And I wonder, yeah, I th I'm going to leave my overhead light off and just use the flash on my phone so you can see that sparkle. Let me just show you this uh, Midnight Shadows again with the light off <clears throat> and the French Silk. Now I'm going to tell you that it's looking a little bit more blue in my camera. It's a little bit darker. Think of like a Payne's Gray with a sparkle. Really, really, really pretty. And there is the French Silk. Okay, so then I'm going to move on to Blue Bonnet. Gorgeous. Cerulean Blue. This 
So the difference between that one there and the blue bonnet, this has a green color shift to it. The cerulean has a blue color shift to it. And they are a total different shade altogether. Um, this here, deep amethyst. Check this out. Look at the edge of the spoon. And now watch. Now that is sexy. <laughs> That's sexy. And then we have dark waters. I believe I'm not used to the names and the, the, the set that I have is out before the public so that the bottles don't have the names on them yet. So I could be wrong with the names. So let's just concentrate on the colors. These I'm pretty sure I have right though. This is Big Apple. And then we have Golden Poppy. Look at that. Orange Crush. So this one has, I believe, a red color shift to it. Red and gold. Again, seeing them through the camera versus in life, totally different. They're a little bit deeper than what's showing up. Uh, pink Carnation. Look at that. I wish I could whistle because I would do a whoo-hoo. <laughs> Sour Lemon. It's got a pretty uh, twinkling shift to it. And then, last one, Sassy Sprite, I believe. Again, if I have the names wrong, I apologize. That's pretty. This one is really, really red. I love that. So those are the 12 new colors with the 13th bottle being free. And you can pre-order now at colorart.com. The link and the coupon for you to use is in the description below. So I'm going to mix up some paints. I'll let you know when I come back how I did that. And we're going to do a pour. Alrighty. So here are the colors I'm going to use on the new set. Um, and the French silk I'm going to use. I chose the bottom row, all the deeper colors there. And this here is a bucket of untinted house paint that's going to pop up on your screen. Now, if you want your painting to look like mine today, you'll have to use a house paint to achieve this look. But if you're not looking for this type of cells, then you can use whatever recipe you want. And still do the technique the same way. This recipe constitute what the cells and the lacing are gonna look like, okay? So into each of these cups, I'm gonna take some of my untinted paint, base paint from uh, Lowe's, and I'm gonna add in however much paint I have is how much of this I'm gonna add in because I don't need to make a lot. Technically though, with that much paint in there, these are very pigmented. I could probably get a full cup out of this, but um, I really don't need all that. I don't need all this. I'm just gonna use a little bit of each color. So I'm putting that in there like that. You see no measuring. It does not get any easier. And then my varnish, about a quarter size puddle I just poured in there of that or you can use polycrylic I'm gonna give it a mix and then I'm gonna check the consistency okay it's a little tiny bit too thick so what I'm going to do is add a few drops of water at a time. So just a plop, 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 plop. That was about six drops. 
unfortunately, you know, me telling you how many drops of water and this and that, uh, it'll get you close, but you're going to have to just practice and, and learn to get that right consistency for what I'm doing today. Again, each pour that you do requires its own you have to look at it like this. It's almost like cooking. You know, you're not going to make chicken soup the same way you would make a pot roast, right? So you're not going to do a flip cup the same way you're going to do a bloom technique. They need their own recipes, their own thicknesses, okay? And uh, I can just tell you that I have that consistency chart in the bottom of my video in the description area. This paint needs to be a number one on the consistency chart to do what I'm doing today. And that's perfect. I want it to flow fast off of the stick. It leaves a mound on a mound and disappears. Okay, so that's how I'm going to mix all of my colors. Alrighty, so I have an 11 by 14 oval here, and I have the ricotte, <laughs> which is White House paint. I'm going to pour a little bit on my canvas and spin it out. This is the way I like to do it. We're going to do a simple swipe. I've chosen a couple of an additional colors. Uh, to go in here, I have chosen dioxazine purple, phthalo turquoise, and uh, some copper, and some gold. Okay, so, let's just spin it out a little bit. I like to cover the entire canvas. I just feel things work better that way. It's just me. Some people will put a puddle in the center and then, you know, do their art and spin it out. But I like the entire canvas coated. First color I'm going to put down is some dioxazine purple. And let's just pour kind of a line. It's like that. We'll put this color down first. Again, I apologize. I do not know the names well enough yet to tell you what I'm even using here, but they are the new Prism Pour colors. Put down some of this beautiful deep green, deep phthalo green color. Then we'll go with this one. We'll put in some regular phthalo green. How about some of that French silk? And some copper, maybe. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Just like a mishmash of colors here. Why not? 
One thing with fluid art, it's always a surprise. <laughs> All right, now we have this beautiful deep amethyst. Want a lot of that color. Some of this really deep Payne's gray blue color from the Prism Pour set. Some gold. Ready? And then it's time for the palette knife. Before that, though, I'm going to torch really quick to pop any air bubbles I may have. Now, this paint, this black paint, is carbon black, heavy body, golden brand black. It is mixed with Australian Floetrol, approximately four or five parts Floetrol to one part paint. I get my Australian Floetrol through Pixel Paint Designs. Um, there is a discount for you below. I'm just going to pour some on the palette knife, like so. Take a stick and spread it out evenly over the palette knife. Like so. And then I'm going to, oh, before I do this, I have a little bit of purple cell activator that I made out of dioxazine purple. I want to just you put some of that on there too. Let's kind of string it through there. And while I swipe, I'm going to slowly spin the Lazy Susan, okay? So here we go. Okay, we're going to stop right there for a minute and see what pops up. Before we go any further, let's take a look at what is going on here. The shimmer is just outstanding. That is gorgeous. The one problem I have with these types of swipes is after I swipe them, I don't want to spin them anymore, <laughs> but I can't leave it like that. Just too much paint there and, oh, but that is gorgeous. Wow. It's coming from this way. Look at, look at that. It looks like there's glitter in the paint. Look at that. Oh, these, these paints are going to be fun. Look at that. I hope you really do try these out. They are a blast. All right, so let's give it a, a whirl around. I'm going to go slow at first. Let's kind of see where it's going. Now, see, because I coated the whole thing, this puddle of color will float 
very nicely over the surface. Whereas if I hadn't done that, it could roll over on itself and ruin the design. Perfect, perfect. That's what I wanted right there. I wanted it to get right over the edge. Just like that. And you saw how easy I mixed those paints. Just use the right products. If you're struggling, try to get those same brands of paints that I'm using and do the same exact thing, and you should be able to get there. If you do a swipe with the cell activator and you're using Australian Floetrol and black from uh, Golden and the cells are not popping up, your cell activator is too thick. Try adding a little bit more cell activate, uh, Australian Floetrol and keep trying. I promise you will get there. So I want to try to get this little area off over here. Right here. So what I do is I tilt it a little bit to get some paint building up. See that? And then when I spin, it pushes it right over the edge. So now I can go back and now I'm happy. Now I'm done. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Let me give you a little look here with the lights on. And now I'll give you some flash. I'll flash you. I cannot wait to resin this one. Look at that. Woo wee. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you're not already. Uh, right next to the name of the channel is a red subscribe. If you click on that, that will subscribe to my channel. You'll get notifications when I release new videos. Look at that outer line. It looks like glitter, thin line of glitter. Check out the description for the coupon on this new set and go order now before they run out. You got that free free bottle offer going. You really want to take advantage of that one. The, these This is just too much for my heart. I, I've done clutched my pearls, ripped them off my neck, and threw them down the road. <laughs> wow. Alrighty, my friends, I hope you're all having a great day and happy pouring.